morning, YouTubers. I'm out here on lot one. Uh, this is day two of construction. So I want to show you what we have already. So as you can see, uh, we have walls up. Less than 24 hours after we started, this is where we're at, uh, thanks to our panelized construction approach. So I'm um, going to take you on a quick tour of what's done so far already. We have just a few of our uh, palletized walls still to go. Um, these panels that you're seeing here are our garage walls. So those will go up today sometime. Um, you see most of the main walls, interior and exterior, of the house are already up. Um, this large opening that you see on the corner here, that's our wall of glass and we have some steel uh, columns and some steel plates that need to go in before they can finish up uh, the rest of the panels in those areas so uh, we've got to get our steel guys out on site and get some of that in place before they can finish the panels um, but the rest of the house is looking pretty good it's kind of exciting to to see things starting to come together so this is our uh, front bedroom window that you can kind of start to see there so let's take a tour through the house um, got a large patio on the front here and I think I talked in one of our earlier videos when we were doing the foundation about why we did this uh, wall out here um, this will be our front door as you come in right here So you'll come up, you'll enter into the uh, open concept kitchen, living, dining. Um, so all of this big wall of glass and the views out this way, that'll, uh, that'll all be your living room space. This wall over here will kind of be your entertainment center area. Um, then this will be our fireplace. So looking out the back, you can see we're also missing some walls. That's another wall of glass in there, so we still have some steel that needs to go in place uh, before we can finish that out. This will be the kitchen, an open galley kitchen. In the back here, you see this little room, that's our pantry. That'll also have the attic access to the uh, little attic space on this end of the house. And then as we come back towards the garage, uh, our hallway out of the garage, you see we have a little coat closet here. Um, we've got a half bath up in this front closet, or front corner. And then there'll be a pocket door here that will go to the stairs, going downstairs. Um, we made that change to put a pocket door in there. You know, a lot of times you have kids or you got parties or you got noise or something in the basement, you wanna be able to close that off from the upstairs. Um, so we we did add that in and then from the living room you go through a hallway here another big uh, storage closet linen closet here um, so you turn and come down the hallway this will be our first bedroom you can see that giant window that's in there looking out onto the trees and all the views in the front of the house um, this bedroom is kind of set up where it can be a guest room or an office, but it really is a pretty good size and we'll probably still have a queen size bed in here. So it is a full bedroom. Um, come back out in the hallway, we have our laundry room. Uh, this is a very nice, very gracious laundry room. We'll have our side-by-side uh, -side washer dryer. Uh, along this wall along with a sink and then we have a bank of cabinets and storage for for this entire wall over here and another nice big window to get some natural light in here all of these rooms uh, will have vaulted ceilings as well that'll follow that pitch of the butterfly roof coming down uh, we come out across the hall from the laundry is our uh, full bath on this floor so this will have a full shower along the end here, toilet and uh, dual vanity sink. 
And then as we come further down the hallway, here is our second bedroom. Um, again, nice big, I think this is 12 by 12 or 12 by 13 for bedroom. Um, two large windows in here. Again, wonderful natural light. These ceilings will also vault up with the butterfly roof. And we have a nice big closet in the corner here. And as we come back through our hallway, um, come back out towards the living room, we turn the other direction, we enter the master bedroom. Um, so again, this is a this is a really nice master. Um, I think we're 12 by 18, 12 by 16, somewhere in there. Maybe, maybe even bigger, maybe 13 by 16. Um, this is kind of your natural bed wall. You could also use this wall as a bed wall. You could also use this wall as a bed wall. So lots of different furniture configurations are possible. Again, we have the nice high vaulted ceilings in here. I think our our main wall here starts at 9 and goes up to 11 on this side. Um, it's really nice big open space. Through the master, we have the master bath here in the back corner. So these two windows on the corner here, this, this is actually a window, we just haven't cut that out yet. Um, that's where our soaker tub is going to sit. Uh, we have a little wall partition back in here for your throne. Um, this will be a, an all glass uh, shower. So we'll have a, a glass wall that will come off of here and then across. And then uh, a really nice long dual vanity with lots of storage in it in, along this wall here. And then as we come back into the master, We'll come in through the master closet, um, which is going to be one of the nicest parts of this house. Um, it's just huge. We're doing a solar tube in here to get lots of natural light into this room and the space. Um, we had considered a window, but the window just took up too much hang space. We'd rather have a, a shelf or a rod in there where we can get into. And there is an opportunity uh, if somebody wants to purchase this home before we get complete with it that we could add actually a, a doorway from the master closet into the master bathroom there as well. So that's kind of a quick walkthrough of the ground floor of Tevis House Lot 1. Uh, we should have the steel up, like I said, in the next couple of days and then I think they will start setting roof choice um, roof trusses probably later today would be my guess so again beautiful morning out here on the lot um, views are gonna be absolutely incredible year-round with this this property so we're getting excited to see things come together so I wanted to wrap up this video today. Um, I wanted to talk about our giant pile of rocks here in the back. Uh, one of the things when you deal with a really rocky site is you're going to hit rock. So all of this rock came out of our excavation when we dug our basement on this, on this lot. Um, now normally that's something that's a problem for a builder. We have to, to pay to load it. You have to pay to haul it somewhere. You have to pay to dump it. Um, unless you've got a, a spot on your lot where you can, you know, dispose of, they're usually just a problem. Uh, this part of Northeast Kansas, it's all limestone. We've got lots of limestone. And because it's not seasoned stone, it's been underground, um, it's not usually very good to build anything out of. We're not able to use it in a building or, or anything like that. Um, so what our plan for this pile of stone is Actually, we're gonna take, let me see if I can get a view of it down here. We're gonna take this excavated wall that we have along the side of our driveway, and we're gonna use some of these big rocks and boulders, and we're gonna build a retaining wall down along this side of the driveway. A lot of natural materials, a lot of material that was sourced right here on site. Um, it's an affordable option for us because all we're paying for is some machine time for an operator to come out and set it and uh, We don't have to haul it off. It's a great option because we're we're not uh, 
having an environmental impact to haul it or dispose of it or you know, messing up some other site or location with it. And when we're done, it's going to be a beautiful option. Um, that uh, approach coming up this big curve drive is going to look really, really incredible when we get all that rock set. Um, we may light it. Um, it's also going to help us with our drainage. All the water that comes off of this hill that's up behind the house um, can filter through a natural rock retaining wall. Whereas if we pour that with concrete or you know large landscaping blocks or pavers or something, uh, we're always going to have moisture issues. We're going to have water trying to get out from behind that wall. We're going to have to vent it um, and drain it down to the street or, or somewhere else where it then causes problems. So. Um, it's a great natural option for us, uses a material we have a lot of on hand, um, and gives us a green solution to one of our site and landscaping problems. So that's the, the plan for the pile of rocks, and we'll do a follow-up video sometime uh, when we find somebody to come out and set it for us.